This is a 3D printed robotic arm. I've always wanted one of these things ever since I watched the first Iron Man movie when I was younger. However, these things are expensive. But now that I have access to a 3D printer and I had some time on my hands, I thought, why not just build one myself? Okay, well, I went to take that off, and it completely ripped off the entire bottom. I think I think the nozzle might have been a little too close, and that is like completely on there. I tried scraping it off. Um, I'm just gonna have to work on that a little while to try and get that off. But I mean, other than that, it looks really good. The quality on it is actually really nice, um, and it, it still works. So it still acts as a cover, but um, it just completely lost. Like it's supposed to be about that thick, and there's now like nothing here. Well, I mean, it still works. I'll probably just have to glue it on. I was planning on having it tight enough for it to fit in there, but with this all gone, it's. I think I'm just gonna have to glue it on there. Got the new bed attached, so let's print those last few pieces. Okay, so this part came out really nicely. Um, well, except for the top. This had a massive layer shift, and I didn't want to reprint the entire thing. So I just ripped off the part, the top part, and I got all this junk. Okay, so I got that part finally printed. Uh, it looks a lot better than it did. Now there is that giant line right there. I'll probably try and go in and kind of smooth it out a little bit. Okay, so now that we got this part printed off, I'm trying to find some screws that actually fit that. So let's check in this drawer. Okay, got it screwed in there. And now the real question now is, does that connect perfectly? I'm gonna pop that out there. Oh, there's still more in there. Oh, that's like perfect. So now that we have this part done, um, I'm just gonna have to figure out <laughs> whether or not if I have screws long enough to fit in here. Okay, so just came down to check on the print and it did end up failing. Sadly, this one this one does keep on failing at the top. I'm not really sure why. Also, it snapped off. I, it. I'm gonna have to glue this together and I will have to reprint this top part. So, yeah. Test one. Now that I have basically everything built and the basic code implemented, I now need to calculate the inverse kinematics. I will be linking all the resources and documents that I used, including videos, in the description down below if you are wanting to build one of these yourself.
That doesn't really look too good. Okay, so I actually need to redesign two things on the robot arm. Starting off, I need to redesign this. Uh, currently, the motor that I am using is not strong enough to lift up much weight. Uh, it can pick up the little head itself uh, along with this, but it can't pick up really much weight other than that. The second thing I need to redesign is this right here. I like this design. Uh, it's just a little bit flimsy, and also it only really works well for grabbing uh, circular things like the cups that I'm trying to pick up. But if I'm trying to pick up anything else, it can't really grab onto it. So I'm gonna redesign it and probably make a simple, just little gripper like this. Uh, instead of having four little things, it's gonna have like just two of them. And it should be able to grab onto a more diverse range of items. So for the claw, I have been using these little motors and it does work for picking up a cup, but for picking up anything heavier, such as a screwdriver, it really does not have enough torque to grab onto it well. So I'm just gonna be switching to these motors. That does mean I will have to redesign the claw mechanism, um, but I think that it should help a lot and be able to pick up heavier objects. So I've been having a lot of issues with the servos either glitching out or not being strong enough to lift things. And this is mainly because they're not getting enough current. So I decided to get a servo driver to allow for the servos to draw more current without damaging the Arduino. Now, before anybody yells at me, I know I should have done this earlier on, but I didn't and that was a mistake. But if you are building one of these yourself, I would highly recommend you get a servo driver because not using one can damage your Arduino or whatever you are using to program your robotic arm. Okay, I'm gonna add these foam blocks to the gripper to stop it from dropping the cups. Uh, it should help. Hopefully.
I am super happy with how this project turned out. Not only do I think it looks super cool, but it also works really well. Uh, there are definitely things that I need to work on. The code can be cleaned up a little bit. It is also a little bit slow. So there's definitely a few things that I can work on to make it even better. Uh, I definitely have plans for some upgrades to it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I want to at least add some sort of voice control and image recognition so that it can identify objects and pick them up. And it can be more useful when working on another project. Because right now it's kind of just for fun. Uh, but I definitely want to make it more useful. I also eventually have plans for building a much bigger one made out of aluminum. I'm thinking at least six feet tall. This was kind of just like a trial uh, to see the design and get the code working to kind of get a better understanding of how this all works so that the next one will be hopefully much easier. I'm super happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.